<sighs> okay. I'm waiting for the splash. We did not get souls. We did... We did not get souls. He is alive. He is still... Oh, he's so alive. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, in the meantime... Where are we going? Ah... Uh, Okay, I did not take a lot of damage from that fight. That is good. That means I can continue. I don't have to sit down at the bonfire because I'm... To be fair... Oh... Oh, this is a bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea! No! Come on, come on, come on. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Okay. Badness skill, thank you. I was hardly expecting there to be a hollow behind me. Where are we? Illusory wall? No, here? No. Uh, okay, I'm still a little bit on edge of that dragon fight, but... Uh, he's gonna be a boss. He's 100% going to be a boss. Okay, I don't know what I'm hearing, but... Wait, is this? Tell me this is. Tell me that this is. Tell me that this... That's a... Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. That is sweet. That is really sweet. Um, there is something there. But before I go and check that out... Um, Okay, yeah, there's an entrance over there in that direction. This is right outside. Really? Really? <sighs> As if one great sword wasn't bad enough. But no, I know exactly where I am. Okay, that is cool. Uh, however... That is Gwyn, with a crown and something, handing it rubbish head. Just because it's rubbish doesn't mean that I, at this rate, don't want. There's no way I can get on top of that except from up above. Okay, you're giving a crown to what seems to be a lowly hollow. If I have to make a guess, the pick me lords. Owners of the Dark Soul, you gave them the city so that they would stick to their own little piece of land. Uh. Anyway, uh, that's where we came from. That means I want to know what is... Uh, what was it? Over here? No, it was on the other side. I want that item and I have a feeling that this is the way to get there. Yes, it is. Ember. Nice. Uh, in a... oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, what? Okay, honestly, if you guys don't mind, because I certainly don't mind, I am not going to count that as my fault. We have dealt with teleporting dogs, small ledges which suddenly acted as if it was a big drop, and slippery routes that launched us to our doom. <laughs> but this has got to be the weirdest glitch we have encountered in Dark Souls. Uh, so, because this death was completely unavoidable and out of our hands, and because we ask for your opinion in a community post, uh, this death will not officially count. But. I will add it to my personal glitch counter. And no, before you ask, I had no hand in any of this. Honestly, the only other time I've had a glitch kill me, like that, sort of, was me being swept across a bridge. The... 
Yeah, people can just easily walk through that. The only other time I had a glitch kill me like that was when I got swept off of the bridge by one of the drakes in Dark Souls 1. I took that because it wasn't during a normal battle. However, this is just no. 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 Definitely no. Uh, but is this leading me... This is leading down. Um, this is, however, not exactly leading to. Oh, is that an illusory wall? No. Oh, this might be bad. This might be bad. This might be bad. Oh, can I? Oh, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Yes. Filianora spear ornament. Okay, I'm taking that home. I'll read up on it in a bit. Uh, this is not exactly what I was expecting. Um, I'm looking for a hole to drop down on. Yup, this is it. Okay, uh, nothing else here. No messages, no illusory wall. No. Okay, in that case. Gwyn, don't mind me, just dropping by. <laughs> and you dare call that rubbish? How dare you? How dare you? Okay, but... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, assuming that this is... Okay, this is 100% Gwyn. Giving the crown to the furtive pygmies, owners of the Dark Soul, the pygmy lords. And... A Chloranthi ring. Chloranthi ring is all about stamina recovery. The old ring is named for its decorative green blossom, but its luster is long since faded. We have been founding, uh, finding an awful lot of budding green blossom in this place. Are those connected? In that case, maybe? I mean, surely, I mean, stamina recovery, but... Huh. Interesting. And I'm beginning to wonder if it was us Gwyn who gave the Chloranthi ring and is responsible as a god for the budding green blossom. This Filianora. Um, it was a fragment. That means it's not a key item. Proof of a church spear's fulfillment of duty. Covenant. The spears of the church watch over the princess's slumber, and this serves as proof of their fulfillment of their duty. The embellished gold cloth is woven with a crest of young grass. The princess knights proudly displayed these precious favors, which were most often seen swaying from their identical ceremonial spears. This Filionora is a god. We know that. Is she responsible for the bad and green blossom in that case, maybe? Like, you gave the crown, and the city, and the princess. Uh, I think that might be it. Uh, anyway... That leaves one more thing to explore, and I... have a feeling... What was the, the, the woman's name? Shira or something? I want to, I want to meet her. Ooh. Ooh, for a moment, I thought that was gonna be bad again. Oh dear God! Really, glitches. Hate them. Gotta hate them. Okay, so down here. Did you guys? Honestly, this might just be a bad idea. might really just be a bad idea. Hi, Framd. You're back again. Try back. Here. No. Um. Ah, uh, you don't deserve this. Antiquated plain garb, violet wrappings, and no chance ahead. What's up with the Lothric Knight great swords or swords? 
it's a sign. It has to be. Okay, uh, let me take a look. Ordinary garb from an ancient land of sorcery. The gold embellishments betray a faint residue of magic, but this clothing was never intended for battle. When a mission visited the ringed city long ago, one of its younger missionaries elected to stay behind. It was he who became the last recorded spear of the church. Okay, cool. And this says the same. Uh, these arm wrappings soon with filet cloth and embroidered with gold thread were intended for everyday use. Yet they served well enough in many a battle, enwreathing the arms of one who would go on to embrace the sword. I mean, it's close enough, right? It's close enough. Also, I'm still weirded out that this is the body of a primordial serpent. Or an artist's representation of it, because it really looks weird. Um, anyway. I don't know what's down there. That looks deep. That looks like death. Um, I think I've explored enough for the time being. I want to go back. I want to go and meet the sheer person and tell them about my success against the dragon Madeir. Because honestly, it was a success. We slaughtered it. Sure, we got no souls. Sure, it's possibly very angry and cross with us right now. But we totally defeated it. Uh, which for now means... I gotta fight my way through this madness. Be right back. Ooh, Ring Knight Hood. Thank you very much. I mean, surely it'll come in handy. Surely. Maybe. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. The Hood of the Ringed Knights. These knights done abyss tainted black cloth with layer upon layer hiding their eyes. This was nothing less than an attempt to reveal that which the Seal of Fire has occluded. A subtle defiance of the God's wishes. Yeah. Kinda cool, but again, nothing beats the fairly old evangelist hat. Uh, just the best set out there. Anyway, onwards! And seeing how for the next part I'm gonna have to get past a ringed knight and several of these healer boys. I might be able to skip past them, but at the end of the road I'm gonna have to deal with at least one of those heralds. <sighs> well, he is hoping for the best. He is hoping for the best. And where the hell is the exit in this place? It better be here. It better be here. It better be here. There's no exit here. But, oh, no. There's no exit here. There's no exit here. Leave me be. Leave me be. Leave me be. No need to fight. No need to worry. No need to worry. We just continue right over here. And... Safety? There they are. There they are. Okay. If I were to... Hide here. It's not going to work. I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. But I only have to fight one of them because the, un the other one is going to turn around again and walk back. This one is going to go towards his little hidey hole spots. Which means... Come on! No! No. As expected. No. No. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Your friend has returned. That is good. That is good. That is good. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Just slow and steady. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. And... I mean, if you truly want to go there, by all means. No problem. No problem at all. Although your friend here is a problem. And your friend here is a problem. But... No problem. Ah, thank you for the chunk. Okay, are you... You're not walking my way, right? Uh, please. Just return to where you came from. Come on. 
Okay, come on. No, no, no. Don't come my way. Don't come my way. Do not come my way. Just turn around again. Everything is fine. Please. Dude. Oh, you are. I was about to say, no way you're coming my way. Ah, anyway, hi, how are you doing? So, Medea hath into the chasm fallen. Yeah. Still his voice I hear. Ah. Uh. The dark grieveth him yet. I prithee, put him to rest, afore the dark consumeth him, and his vows are forgot. Okay, but if he is in the chasm, how do I get there? Just afore the church of the princess standeth a tower, honouring ancient knights. There lieth a small shrine, behind the sculpted knight, which beareth no arms. Tis from there one may descend the chasm of darkness. I prithee, put the great dragon to rest. From there you do not only access the chasm of darkness, you also... <sighs> Enter the realm of glitches. Well, I know where to find my dear now. Do you have anything else to say? I know. I have asked of thee a thing most terrible. Yeah. Forgive me. Thou wert but mine only hope. Just afore the church of the princess. Stand the, the tower, tower built to honor ancient, ancient knights. Behind the sculpt knight with bear no arms. The so basically, the thing I glitched through when I attacked it, which honestly should not have happened. That is where we will find Medea. So in order to get to Medea, this is the only way we would have to jump down there. That's going to be fun. But uh, before I do that, I do want to know what my other path is. Because right now, it feels like... Is Medea optional? It might be optional, which leaves the only other path being the dual wielding great sword ring knight. What is he hiding? What path does he hide? And once I know I can make my choice, do I want to go down to hell or do I want to go towards hell? Because I'm not entirely sure where either path is leading me, but both do not exactly seem promising. As of right now, which means, are you on your own? It's a lovely place. That's the Church of Filianor. <sighs> okay. I want to know. No, I've got a lot of souls though. Um, gonna S string for healing. Might be worth it. Uh, you are going to respawn though. 100% you're going to respawn. That's going to cause issues for me. You are alone, right? There's nothing going to jump... No, there's nothing. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be a mistake. This is so going to be a mistake. Oh, God. Okay. You terrify me. Definitely terrify me. One, two, three. No. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. You deal a bit of damage, but this is seemingly fine. No. 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 Oh, you are terrifying, good sir. Terrifying, I tell you. <sighs> Ring Knight paired Greatswords. Oh, Greatsword lovers will be very happy with this. And a Tide Knight chunk. Ah, oh dear. Okay, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Oh, requiring 40 strength. I was expecting more, to be honest, but... Wow. Paired black great swords wielded by the ringed knights. The arms of early men were forged. That's all the same as before. With skill, ember. Cross the twin times worn great swords to reignite short lift flame. Lightning quick upward heave slice the very air and transitions into a normal or strong attack. Okay. Cool. Uh, meanwhile, pray to the divine spear monument. This is the covenant of a Filianora spear ornament. Interesting, but I'm not yet part of this covenant. 
So, it's fun and all that I can offer something, but that's not going to do much for me, is it? Budding green blo- again, morphed budding green blossom. Um, get that by jumping down from there, down there. Okay, thank god the knight was alone. Um... I'm still waiting for the doors to open and another night to come out, but yeah. Uh, ritual spear fragment. Is that a covenant item? No, it's not. Summon a row of upwardly thrusting ritual spears. S ranking all over the place, what? Online play item. A fragment of the matching ritual spears once held by the knights of Princess Filianor. They are the namesake of the Spears of the Church. When the Spears of the Church face unduly treacherous foes, this allows them to draw upon former majesty and summon a row of upward thrusting ritual spears. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Okay. I am not liking where this is pointing towards. Because this is sounding like... The protectors of Filianora are the Spear of the Church. Spear of the Church is a Covenant. Online play item. <sighs> yeah. Um. Okay, assuming that the boss is going to be a PvP thing. I have to defeat the Spears of the Church to get past, because there are still three bosses. We know one of the bosses is going to be Medir, which leaves two bosses remaining. One to end the DLC, and one before it. I'm getting the feeling that the Spears of the Church might be one of the bosses, which means a fight against a player. Uh, which makes me doubt. I suck at PvP. I constantly need the help of summoned blue spirits, and most of the time, I just die towards invaders. <sighs> Part of me is thinking, eh, let's go to offline mode and just fight the boss like the game is giving it to me, and not a player who might do whatever. I'm gonna have to think about that for a little bit, but... Uh, I'm leaning towards going offline, just in case. I mean, I'd like to avoid PvP as much as possible, and although I have a separate dev count for PvP devs, thank you, Twinkling Titanite, I'm not really comfortable with fighting players in a boss fight. If that disappoints you, I'm sorry, but uh, no thanks. Just no thanks. But anyway, for now... I don't even want to open that door right now. The, this ring night fella is going to respawn. I'm quite sure of it. Uh, yeah, I'm going back to Firelink Shrine. Leveling up one more time. And then I think the time has come to try and track down Medir in a pit of darkness. Although I'm not sure how the big guy is going to handle the whole Spears of the Church thing, because he can also borrow my save file, eh, that is a worry for the nearby future. But first, we've got a dragon to take care of. <laughs> 